Motivation is fleeting. It's like any other emotion. There's some times where I feel highly motivated and there's other times where I don't. And I want to make sure that I'm showing up as my best self as consistently as possible. That we can start from fresh and have this great victory. What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm gonna hold on to it. It's nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't do it. And that's where you fail. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of spark and you can burn the whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to learn to be, you have to be your best self and your least motivated. So if I'm only showing up as my best self, or I'm only doing what I need to do when I feel like it, or when it's convenient, or when I'm feeling motivated, then my performance is, is going to be like a roller coaster. And I don't want that. I want to be a consistent performer, uh, regardless of how I feel in the moment. So I lean much more heavily on discipline. And the beauty of discipline is it's available to everyone. Uh, I hear a lot of people say things like, well, Alan, I'm just not that disciplined. And I let them know with love and grace and compassion, that's just the story that you've told yourself. And yes, historically, maybe you've chosen not to make very disciplined decisions, but you can change that in a moment. The very next decision you have to make today, maybe what you're going to eat for lunch, you can choose the more disciplined route. So you're, it's fully available to you. And then the more consistently you make disciplined decisions and live a disciplined life, then you'll start to change that self-narrative and you'll start to look at yourself as a more disciplined person. So that's why I don't rely on motivation. Motivation is a little, it's a little feeling and feelings are fickle. It's a little emotion and emotions are fickle. Don't, don't count on motivation. You count on discipline. You don't, when I wake up in the morning, I don't think, am I motivated to go do what I'm supposed to do? No, I just go do what I'm supposed to do. That's discipline. So you want to implement discipline in your life. That's what you want to do.